Hello there, I'm artist Aaron Rutten, and in this video I'm going to show you the best file formats for saving your digital artwork using Photoshop. So first of all, let's take a look at the Save menu. If we go to File, there is Save, Save As, and if you go down a little bit further, there's Save for Web. Now if you're doing anything for the web, you'll generally want to use Save for Web. For everything else, you can use Save or Save As. The difference between Save and Save As is Save is going to save your file, and Save As will give you an opportunity to save as a different file format or as a copy of that file. So let's go ahead and take a look at Save for Web first. So first of all, before we get into all these different file formats, we need to understand the difference between lossless and lossy file formats. A lossless file format means that it's going to save the file and it may try to make it a little bit smaller, but it's not going to change the colors or throw away any information. A lossy file format, like JPEG for instance, is going to throw away information like color information and detail in your artwork to make the file smaller. You generally do not want to use a lossy file format unless you're going to be doing that intentionally, and you really, really do not want to save your originals as a lossy file format because if you continue to save a JPEG over and over again, it's going to keep throwing away more and more information. And you may have seen images like this on the internet, images that are really blurry and really blocky. That's because all the information's been thrown away as it's been saved as a JPEG. So on that note, you want to be saving your originals, your layered artwork, as a PSD or as a RIF or whatever native file format that your artwork was created in. And then when you go to make copies for printing or for the web, you want to save copies of your master or your original. So I'm going to do that here. I have my original, which is a TIFF, open here. And if I want to save a copy of it, let's take a look at some of our options. We have PNG. We have JPEG and we have GIF starting out. So as I mentioned before, JPEG will compress the image and it will throw away information. And you can choose how much information you want it to throw away by reducing the quality here. So if we reduce this really low, you can see down here in the file size, this file is only 126.6K, whereas the original was 27.8 megabytes, which is way, way bigger. Now you don't see much of a difference here, but from a technical standpoint, it's not good to use this format because if you look really, really closely, let's say right around here between the eyes, if you look on the JPEG side, there's all these little chunky blocks. You don't see that here, that all the pixels are nice and fine and smooth. So all of that fine, fine, fine detail that's in this piece that makes it look really good gets preserved if you use a lossless format. If you use a lossy format, it starts to get kind of pixelated and it loses a little bit of its visual integrity. And you'll also notice that the color changed slightly too. Next, let's take a look at GIF. Some people call it GIF. Now, this is technically a lossless or a lossy format, depending on how you want to look at it, because you can control how many colors are in this piece. This isn't a very common file format unless you're making animated GIFs or you're really trying to just save a lot of space on a website and make the images absolutely as small as possible. So in this case, you would remove as many colors as you can until it looks pretty good. And if I get it up around 128 colors, it still looks pretty much like the original. But again, if we zoom in, you can see there's all this artifacting. There's these banded lines and there's these little speckles of different colors that shouldn't be there. So I recommend unless you need to use the GIF format, don't save your artwork as a GIF. Let's take a look at the next option, which is PNG. Now when you're choosing PNG, you get similar options like you do with GIF where you can choose PNG 8, and I'll use a smaller color depth, or you can choose PNG 24. Now, there's also PNG 32, but you have to get to that through the regular save menu. But PNG 24, most of the time, does a pretty good job, and this is a lossless format, so you can save as a PNG, and you don't have to worry about it throwing away any information. It's still gonna look really, really good. And out of the save for web formats, this is the only one that supports transparency, so if you wanted to cut out the background and have the background not print on an image, you would want to check transparency to make sure that it doesn't automatically fill it in with white like it would with the JPEG format. So now that we know a little bit about lossless and lossy compression, let's take a look at some of the more advanced save options here. Let's go to save as. What I like to use for printing is TIFF, and TIFF is a lossless file format. Let's go ahead and click on save and let's look at some of the options here. Now there's an area for image compression, so you can compress this if you want to. There's lossless compression, which is LZW, or there's lossy compression, like JPEG. Generally it's best to use LZW, I do that for everything that I paint because it compresses it, but it doesn't throw away any information. 
So basically it'll just make the file smaller, otherwise TIFFs are generally pretty big files. And if the image had transparency, you could save transparency as well. Now, I don't like to save my TIFFs with layers because I'm saving a TIFF because I'm going to print it, so it doesn't need layers. And if you keep the layers, then the file size is really big. So you'd want to go ahead and discard layers and save a copy of your artwork. So TIFF is my favorite format for printing, but occasionally your printer will want a different format, like a PDF. A PDF can be lossy or lossless. It all depends on the settings you choose. So if we look up here in the preset, if you choose smallest file size, it's going to compress the heck out of everything and make the file size really small, but your images might lose some quality. And basically they'd get converted to JPEGs. If you choose press quality, then it's going to use the highest quality settings and it's going to compress your artwork a lot less. So if you're printing and you want the best quality, you'd want to choose press quality. Let's take a look at some more file formats here. There's PNG and this is PNG 32. So this is the highest quality PNG. So if you want a very, very, very high quality PNG for printing or for posting to the web, then I recommend that you choose this option here and it gives you some compression options. You can choose no compression or you can choose smallest. Now smallest will take a little bit longer to save, but it's not going to take that long. So I would just choose smallest for your compression. It's again, lossless compression. So you don't have to worry about ruining the image. And there's a few other specialty formats like bitmap. You may need to use that if you're working on comic books or if you're working on game graphics or website graphics that need bitmap specifically, you could also save EPS if you're saving some vector artwork that you made in Photoshop. And then the rest of these, they don't really get used that much. So unless you know what they are, I really wouldn't worry about it. But this is just going to focus on file formats for digital art. Now, a lot of the time there's some options here, like for instance, under TIFF, there's Adobe RGB 1998 color profile, because that's the color profile that I used while I was creating this artwork. And I want to make sure that this is checked because I want to keep using this color profile. If I uncheck this, it may save my artwork as a different color profile and it may change the colors in the artwork. So to do a quick recap, if you're saving for the web, choose the save for web dialog. If you're going to save for print or anything else, choose save as or save. And for printing, I like to use the TIFF format. Second would be the Photoshop PDF. And then third would be the PNG 32. And if I'm saving for web, I prefer the PNG 24 format. I rarely use JPEG unless I have to. Unless a website says you can only upload a JPEG, I always use PNG 24 because the quality is a lot better. You'll find that if you save as a JPEG, it might totally change the colors of your artwork and dull them down, or like I showed you earlier, it makes things a little blocky and distorted. So don't use JPEG unless you have to. PNG 24 works the best. So I hope that answers some of your questions about what file format to use when you're saving your digital artwork. If you enjoyed this video, take a quick second to like it and share it with your friends. And if you're new to my channel, click that subscribe button to get updates when I release new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next Thursday for another Photoshop tutorial.